So my Instapot has the dreaded C6L error. So stick around, let's see how I fix it. All right, there's an instructable on the iFixit website going over this. It's the Instapot Duo. It's got the air fryer. And the instructable goes over it very thoroughly. So I'll link that down below. I'll just go over what I do. I'm not going to go over everything they do. And I'm not sponsored by iFixit, but that would be nice. You're going to need your T15 Torx. The lid off. Of course, pan comes out. You flip it over. There it is, right there. Of course, I'm unplugged. One torch, it rotates. Bottom comes off. So the problem is these contact switches. Of course, there's Phillips inside. There it is. Okay, it's got a little locking tab on it. Right there. See that? You just have to push that little guy there in. There we go. That's pretty nifty. black one. There we go. Sorry, my big fat hands are in the way. Ooh, don't want that to go down that hole. That wouldn't be fun. Fix it is saying it could be the contacts on these switches are broken. Let me check continuity. You can set it to resistance, or if you've got a continuity tester. They seem to be functioning, but I bought another switch, so I'm going to plug it in, see if I get anything different. I just got this part for a couple of bucks on Amazon, I think it was like 20 bucks, something like that.
how do you like that? It just about doesn't fit. There it is. Okay. Wow. That was a tight fit. Slide these blades on. They're undersized too. Well, guess a little expansion with the old craftsman might help out just a little bit. How do you like that? There we go. A little persuasion. Had to get Stanley. Just widen that spade just a little bit. And then they went on just fine. So, put it back together, plug it in, and let's see if a new switch did the trick. Now one other thing I fix it said to check was if the contacts are dirty. But I don't see anything in there that's dirty. In fact, this Instapot we've barely used. So I don't know why that popped up. But I'll plug it in. We'll see what it does. Moment of truth. There we go. It worked. There's a problem with this old switch. So that's about it. Put the old iFixit tools away. And I'll call that one a success. Short and sweet. Took longer to get the part here than it did to fix. So there we have it. It's another successful driveway shop repair for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.